Well, okay, fellas, I hope you enjoyed the experiment. And I just wanted to show you guys how I build the stuff that I build. I don't draw something on a piece of paper and then try and make that happen. I've done that in the past and it's usually a waste of time. Not all the time, but for the most part, designing stuff on the fly has a lot to offer. And you've seen how I was just kind of sitting there trying that uh, valve out in a bunch of different positions. I did in about 10 minutes what could have taken days, you know, drawing stuff out and all this nonsense. So what I'll do now is I'll go ahead and post this test and I'm going to analyze the footage and um, get a good idea of where that nozzle performed the hottest. I wish I could have held it in one spot longer, but uh, I know I was jumping around way too much. I have a bad habit of that. So hopefully this footage will give me a good idea of exactly where we're gonna to wanna to put that nozzle. So that's where I am on this build. Uh, I added this uh, rear cavity, hoping that that would uh, produce a swirling vortex in there to cause continual reignition of the flame, which was, is kind of what gave us the stabilization that we've seen this time around. You notice last time this thing didn't burn very stable at all. By adding this, we now have a rolling fireball effect going on inside of here that's helping sustain combustion. And um, that's the key to uh, keeping one of these things going. Definitely uh, impressed with how well this little thing performs. It's a very interesting experiment. I'm gonna go ahead and replicate what we have here, but in miniature. Okay, this is for you guys who are hardcore at it with this stuff. You see that little annular gap between that center tube? That's my air jet. Very close tolerance on this particular nozzle. It's um, definitely a high flow, high air flow towards high velocity, I guess I should say. The air flow ain't so high, but the velocity is insane. So at any rate, I'm done for the day. Fellas, that's uh, enough experiment for me. It's like 5.30, I've been at it all day. I'm like full-time jobbing in here. But I think we got some pretty good information on how I'm gonna mount this nozzle tomorrow.